Hi everybody, Dr. Nikita Visniak here, and I'm here to walk you through instrument-assisted soft tissue mobilization. It's the second edition of this. We use this with our online videos, courses, and in-person courses as well, used by literally thousands of students around the world. So let's get into it. See how you can save your hands and maybe see some better results with it. So to start with, oh yeah, this is our webpage. We've written numerous books, not a big deal. As you progress in, we give you a table of contents to start to see what you're gonna learn and we break it down by what does the research suggest. Then we go into following our Hipner's protocol, looking at indications, contraindications and informed consent, injury treatment and developing a treatment framework with goals of application. Then we talk specifically about dosing, common errors and strokes, and moving into follow-up visits, outcome markers, and even how do you keep your patient charts correct when you're doing this? And then of course, tissue on all of our other healing examples that we go through here as well, and then continue education and alternate resources, additional resources you can use. So to start, we know that instrument assisted has been around for literally thousands of years. There's a spectrum of this all the way from the basic stainless instruments to cupping into very specific with dry needling taking place. We can also see bruising that might occur with some treatments. This is not the goal. This is actually gua sha. It's been around for about 5,000 years. This is from ancient Greece and Rome where you can see variations of instrument techniques used as well. And then we talk about the evidence for soft tissue mobilization therapies. We give you examples of how instrument assisted, this was actually me at uh, a college in Toronto, University in Toronto actually, where we looked at uh, special stress plate tables and we could see the amount of force that was given using just your hand compared to using instruments. We also did thermal imaging to show pre-treatment and post-treatment. So if you look at here, this, you can see the white is hotter. So if I treat with my hand, I get an increase in temperature of about 36 degrees. 35 and a half. And if I treat with an instrument, you can see that it's substantially warmer, almost two degrees warmer. Bottom of the foot, we show it again. We also search some of the basics for the evidence base behind it to stimulate mechanoreceptors, see cellular responses, possibly improving range of motion, neurostimulation as well, reducing practitioner fatigue. This is a big one for a lot of us who do manual therapies. You want to decrease the wear and tear on your own body. This is what they're huge for and using it in conjunction with other techniques. Instruments do not replace your hands. They just do some of the heavy lifting for you when you are working hard. And then you can go ahead and see some of the other, we do it with cadaver dissections as well to talk about specific application. And we can see why you're gonna use instrument assisted techniques. Number one, effective treatment. Number two, specific contacts, way more specific than you can be with your hands. Saving your hands potentially. Advanced kinesthetic sense, it's like a stethoscope for your hands. You can actually feel the tissue better. They make financial sense. You can see this thumb right here, saving your thumbs. What is the stat? Something like 91% of physios using massage have to modify their treatments and have missed days of work because of thumb injuries. And here you can see some people who are at one of our seminars here. This one was in Hawaii. This one was out at Salt Spring Island. And these are therapists who have been working for six years and 10 years. And you can see the trophic, let's just zoom that in. You can see the trophic changes on those thumbs, right? So that's what we're trying to avoid is those changes over time. Ah, yes. What, what you're going to choose for the right instruments. My line is try the rest, choose the best. So if you're looking at this, we literally let you try all of these instruments out. You can see some of the grass and instruments are here. We've got hot grips. We've got uh, there's some out of Europe all over the place here. What are these ones down here? Rock tape has got them, wooden ones, you name it, we've got them for people to try so you can make your best informed decision before you purchase. Our own instruments, we also show those as well, of course, and you can go ahead and see the different shapes and the different handholds. Literally, my thumb and interphalangeal joints ache from doing active release technique on people for so much or pin and stretch techniques. So if you look at the shape of this one instrument, our little groove here, that is literally the shape of my thumb. That is literally the shape of my knuckle right here. And then we've got this spoon edge and all of that. So you can find multiple different organic edge shapes to fit patients better and save your hands. Then we go through our basic process of hypners that you're going to follow with every single patient encounter or client encounter, whatever the case may be. And yeah, we break it down a little bit more. We look at contraindications and indications, but if you're doing manual therapy, the list is the same. Okay, the indications are the same, the contraindications are the same. Where we've seen a number of our practitioners have really good success have been around things where you literally beat your hands down, like carpal tunnel syndrome, 
what else is another one? Iliotibial band syndromes or plantar fasciitis. We found really good use for the instruments there, but pretty much any patient can benefit from it, especially more of your athletic CrossFit bodybuilder types. They will really enjoy this use. Or I also treat a lot of massage therapists and other healthcare providers. And for them, what we wind up doing is they just ask for the instruments almost every visit. So they know the results that they get. Our treatment times are cut way down because of it. Then we talk about informed consent briefly and take you through fear avoidance model and working with pain, factors that really influence healing, looking at an overall treatment framework that you might follow going from acute stages into post-acute remodeling and functional return to activity with visit frequency. Next thing we talk about goals and applications, some setup with it. Then we go into the specifics of how you would actually use the instruments. Then we talk about the different strokes that you can use and then fade into what a basic treatment might look like using outcome measures and making sure to have informed consent through that entire process. Some of the outcome markers you might actually use and then the charting that you might do for that patient as well or client on that treatment. And then we look at identification of tissue specific pathologies, fascial connections, different conditions and application for those conditions. I mean, the big thing for this though, if you're looking at the conditions, I would really refer you to the orthopedic conditions book. We have over 250 conditions in there where we look at multidisciplinary multifactorial treatment options for different people, different patient populations. Uh, we talk quickly about trigger points and how to use a stretching strap as well, because it comes with our kit and then some pin and stretch and of course, alternate resources. So that's a quick little run through of this little book and you can hopefully find that useful for your time. If you want more information, you can find us online at prohealthsys.com or you can go ahead and take our online courses or any of our in-person courses as well. Hopefully you enjoy and thank you very much for your time.